Hey friends, today we are working on a good old Force 50 motor on a little Bayliner Capri, actually. Now this video is mainly about this stupid tube. That's the water tube, I believe, that sits in your leg and goes to the top. Now it's in there pretty snug when it's in there, but I'm going to clean it up some. But the trick was, where in tarnation does the top go? Because you can't see in there. So what I ended up doing, tilted this way up high, blocked it off a little bit because I couldn't tilt it that high. So then, take a flashlight. The spotlight works better because the floodlight kind of reflects off everything, makes it tough to see. Now this little boot actually goes, here I'll grab this flashlight while I'm doing this, goes in that hole right there. Where are we at here? Right there, you can see. Goes in that hole. And anyway, that was on the top, actually. That was, it was the other way. It was flipped over, so it was hanging from inside the top like that. But I got one of the little guys there to stick their hands way up in there and uh, get it out for me. Stuck his hands in there. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, got it out for me. So... Uh, now, to, to see where the tube goes, you can see, of course, your shaft goes way up in that slot over there. But pretty close to that, you got to kind of shine around in here and there and look around and then you can find off to the side there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there, but way up in the back, there is another hole. And that, my friends, is where that stupid water tube sits. I assume anyway, because it's the only other hole I can find and it fits perfectly. I seated it up in there with the rubber. And like I said, I turned this rubber around so that I can actually, you know, stick it through. I'm going to put a little bit of silicone on this as well. Try to clean it up if I can. And then a silicone, because if it's on the top, it kept popping it out when I was trying to stick this thing in. So, yeah, like I said, I managed to get it out. If you only have yourself, if you don't have any help, you don't have any tiny hands, you honestly could probably just pop it up through there and then drop the leg and it would, you know, probably fall out the bottom, I would imagine. Unless there's areas for it to sit in up top, which is honestly very possible. I'm sure there's other ways you could get creative. And honestly, worst case scenario, I don't think it'd be a big deal if it wasn't on there anyway. Worst thing that could happen is eventually it might rub a hole in this and then you might start seeping water there as well. But anyway... I just figured I'd make a quick video on mainly how to put the tube back up in there. I wish I could say this is a video on how to change your water pump. It isn't because I don't know how to get this brass ring off because I'm, I don't care. I don't need to, right? My impeller is good. But to drop the leg, very simple. I think there was four 916 bolts underneath on the bottom, of course. Bolts onto the bottom there, naturally. And you do that. You have to take your sleeve off of that there. That bolt or that uh, sleeve goes on there this sleeve right here and that is to adjust your your linkage of course so I just left the lock nut right where it is and then I loosened that after I dropped the bolts here and I just held the legs kind of so I could slide it out and then of course you got to make sure everything lines up again when you put it back together mainly make sure everything's fitting properly where it should be I'll do another shot here where I have the tube back where it belongs and to change your impeller, you just take these off 410 mils or 3 8 or whatever, and your little rubber impeller is in there. Now, again, this is a, a, a force. I think they said it was bought by Chrysler, but it seems to me that all the research I do, I always end up cross-referencing force with Mercury and Mariner. So I guess they're either very similar engines or they're maybe maybe they were owned by Mercury for a bit. I have no idea. That's That's not what I'm into. That's not what this is about. But here, let me see if I can get a quick shot of that tube in place. I'm just going to put some silicone on this rubber to see if I can get it to stay in there. And I will be back. Okay, so I went ahead and I put some Right Stuff silicone on there. Right Stuff is, oh, probably among the best silicone out there, as far as I can tell. Very highly praised. So I put some of that in there. We're going to fish it up into the hole now. And there you go. You can see a little bit of silicone squeezing out on the sides. Now it's time to fish this line back into place. Okay, so looks good to me. Looks centered. Can you even see that in the video? Looks like you can. Put it back. Anyway, tubes in there. And you can 
you can kind of follow it up there if you look just right. So anyway, we got that tube in there. Hopefully this is right. I couldn't even say for sure, but hopefully this is right. And now we're going to take this, make sure everything's lined up, spin this back the way it goes, make sure that goes into the right hole and properly. This one goes in right. I'll put a little bit of grease on this before I put it back in. And then we got to line this up. I might even put a little bit of grease in here too, just to seal it up a bit, but we'll see. Still got to clean that up a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to put it all back together again. See if I get a little brush in there that I can move around in there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Put it all together and hopefully we're good to go. I won't be able to test it today because we don't really have any water to put it in. And uh, yeah, hopefully my buzzer doesn't keep going off anymore, but we will see. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and may God bless you.